colleagues, students, families, and friends, welcome to the 2024 Rice University Award Ceremony. I'm Carissa Zimmerman, Director for the Center for Teaching Excellence, and I'm delighted to join you all today in celebrating the teaching, service, scholarship of our colleagues and our friends. I'm excited to be here once again to celebrate the people who are the foundation of any great university, and certainly that's the case for Rice our incredible faculty. Having high caliber faculty who go above and beyond in and out of the classroom is part of Rice's DNA. Even as we shift our focus to enhancing our research profile and reputation, we will always place the highest value on teaching and mentoring. This is who we are at Rice. It is part of the reason students come here and it's part of the reason talented faculty want to come to be at Rice. Today we are celebrating the accomplishments of some of our finest faculty members. The awardees represent various schools and departments across our campus. I'm delighted that their hard work, sacrifice, and undeniable talent is being celebrated at the university's award ceremony and reception. Hosted each year by the CTE, the event commemorates the contributions of Rice's instructors to their students and the craft of teaching. The awards celebrate their commitment to teaching excellence, mentorship, and service. We are at a time where the value of a university education is really being questioned, but we have never needed a place like Rice more. You can get logos in a book. You can get it in an online video. It's on YouTube. You can probably find it on YouTube. But what Rice offers is all three of these aspects for students to develop into ethical, innovative leaders. It is my pleasure to announce this year's winner of the George R. Brown Prize for Excellence in Teaching. And this is Hotel Orkan Akmekji. I love Matt and I am just happy that you know students are seeing the passion in me when they are taking these classes and they are just giving me the chance to teach them or show them how math is beautiful like the art that you are seeing in nature and appreciating what it is. I'm just grateful for that. 